Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asim Rant and this is um, not 49ers news but um, near enough related. It's NFL news. This is about Richard Sherman. This is part two. Um, I try to keep you updated as much as I can. I uh, try to get the, there's a lot of articles out and I've tried to get the right story what as more detailed as I can. Um, but on that note, uh, John Lynch has come out and said something as well. So this is on uh, Pro Football uh, profootballtalk.nbcsports.com and uh, this is um, an article uh, posted by Michael David Smith and this is John Lynch 49s will provide support to uh, Richard Sherman and his wife so it's just a small article and it says although Richard Sherman does not play for the 49ers general manager John Lynch has re reached out to the sh uh, Sherman Richard Sherman and his wife after the events of the last 48 hours uh, which saw Sherman arrested for trying to break into his wife's parents' home and Ashley Sherman call 911 to report that Richard Sherman was suicidal. Lynch told reporters today that he's concerned about both Richard and Ashley and has reached out uh, to the family to let them know that the 49ers can provide resources to them. They're good people, John Lynch said, uh, of Richard and Ashley, just praying that they find their way through this and will support them any way we can. Lynch said the 49ers signed Sherman to a three-year contract in 2018. He is a, currently a free agent. Sherman remains uh, eradicated and will be appearing through a judge this afternoon. Now, um, I've seen some of the articles and some of them are a bit up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, all I know is with the judge, um, he's been let out with no bail. Um, but he's got several conditions that he's got to keep to, which I don't know yet, and there's a lot of rumours about that as well. So, me personally, with a lot of websites saying this, that, and the other, and other, and other, me personally, I don't know what those conditions are properly. Um, really, I don't really want to know, uh, to be fair. I'm just gutted for him. Um, in the end, I mean, there's leaks of the 911 call that um, his wife... Uh, Ashley was saying on the phone, which I'm not also going to put out there because I think it's it's just it's just not right. So um, I didn't do it, but I've like the way that it's gone down to. He's been drinking heavily. That's what it sounds like. Um, he was he was drinking heavily. He hit a sign or something like in a hit like a sort of hit and run thing, but he wasn't a person. No one's injured. He's gone straight to uh, um, his wife's parents' house like going all high rate high rate everything's kicking off apparently the uh, Ashley's Ashley Sherman's dad come out with pepper spray and uh, a gun to his side just in case he tried to do something and at that time the police come in and um, yeah just went from there tried to it won't wasn't having it tried to do a runner or try to walk away or pace quickly or whatever canine got to him went to the hospital did that and um, according to that, um, he was all chilled and calmed down. He was sort of like smiling about it. Apparently, he's joking about it and stuff. Like, it was calm. It was all calm and everything. And um, yeah, you had to wait to be bailed. Yeah, you had to stay in the cells. You had to wait till today. The judge said no bail. Um, but he's got several conditions, and I don't know what the conditions are. Um, overall, I'm gutted for the bloke. You know, with a Seahawks man, you could look at his career. Yeah, he was very, very good. Very, very, very good. Um, you might not like him in a Seahawks, to be fair. He ran his mouth off, but what footballer don't, what uh, American footballer doesn't. Um, he lost with the Seahawks. He's been in a Super Bowl. He lost with them. He's with us, 49ers in 2018. And he did all right there. Yet again, in the Super Bowl, didn't go well then. And then uh, he's a free agent, and that's the guttering. I think that was. I think that was it. I think what made him, me personally, I don't know, but my thoughts were on it was he was saying in interviews that he wanted to wait for an NFL draft to kick off, and once that's finished, then he'll have his options. But no one has signed him up, and I think that was the most dumbest thing I think you could do. I want to be in a team. If I'm a free agent, I want to go straight into a team. I don't care who. If I've got my options open to whatever, 
you want to go in as quickly as you can before the NFL draft. That's what I thought. But that's what I would think. Um, but not for this guy. And even on this 911 audio, uh, I've seen it. I've heard it. You know, he's saying he want, he's all suicidal. He was shouting out suicidal things, words. Um, overall, if you like him or hate him, it doesn't matter. If you take the NFL out of it, this is just a working class bloke. He's worked hard to get where he's where he's at, and sadly, this is struck upon him. Um, I hope Richard Sherman gets better. I hope he gets well. I hope he finds like what he needs help with, and he hope he can steer himself on the right track. It's good that John Lynch has come out and said that. I thought even the Seahawks coach would, might have done that. Obviously not. I don't know about that, to be personally fair. I, I read out on articles, he probably has, but I haven't seen nothing. But John, but to say John Lynch has come out and gone, if you need any help, you know, ask us. I mean, that's that's nice enough. But I hope he gets better. I, I hope he can steer himself on the right track and he gets better. Get his, get his arse back into gear. Get fit. And let people know that you're... You're ready for a team. And hopefully that team will take you, mate. Um, leave a comment down below. Tell me if you found any articles or anything else different or anything like that at all. Just leave a comment. Tell us what you think. Um, thank you very much for the 38 subscribers as well. Really fortunate, humble, and appreciated. And um, if you're new, subscribe. I'll do a lot more 49ers news throughout the week, Monday to Friday, um, on random times. And if you don't see me on Monday to Friday or either some odd days, during the weekday, it's because of hospitality, and I am tired, as you can see from here, with black eyes, um, but I'm here, like I said, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.